Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Doc Vlog. Today I'm going to show a cool camera technique, kind of a little hack that you can use to get a jib or dolly like effect without actually having a jib or a dolly because of course they're very expensive. All you need is a tripod with a fluid head and of course your camera. So I've got my camera on the tripod here, going to pull up that leg of it and then all I'm going to do is just find a stable pot spot to put it in and make sure the head is nice and loose so that I can tilt it easily and then I'm just going to basically lean the tripod forward or alternately pull it back in that same manner and you get some nice smooth motion moving towards or away from your subject. Now obviously there's a limited range of motion here that you have because your tripod is only so big but there are still some cool ways you can kind of modify this. You can get up on a higher surface like a table, stairs, a ladder, you could set up all kinds of things to really get some cool looking shots. You definitely want to stabilize the legs as you saw the legs just slid a little bit there so you might want to put something heavy behind them if you're on a smooth surface. Now let's look at some test shots. This is just right out of the camera um, except for the blur. I obviously blurred my daughter's face but this is right out of the camera full speed. I shot this in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, um, and we're getting this nice sort of pull away and you can see the legs at the end of the camera there so that's the um, or at the end of the shot so that's the limit of how far you can pull back here's that same shot again using warp stabilizer to stabilize it and you see we get even a little bit smoother motion with that and I tried a few different crops so that's 150% crop letting it do that and I'm gonna try this one with a 125 but again here's this is just the sort of raw shot right out of the camera not bad already, really fairly smooth motion, especially since the tripod's on uneven ground here. And then zooming it again with 125% crop allowed. So yeah, pretty good, pretty nice smooth motion. This is one I tried to shoot in slow motion at 180 frames per second, slowed down to 24. That turned out to be way too slow, so I sped it up a lot. But uh, you can still get some pretty cool effects in slow motion, um, getting that motion from the camera. So there are a few more test shots here, but this is basically, you can see, just it's a pretty cool effect. I was just messing around with it. I'm not sure how I'll use it in the documentary, but it's nice to have that tool in your toolkit. And it's really nice to be able to do something like this without having to worry about buying a very expensive jib or a very expensive dolly. This is something you can do. All you need is a tripod with a fluid head and you can do this. You can get these kinds of shots. So pretty cool and definitely worth checking out.